alone. 10 News. We have some new results just coming in right now to 10 News. Let's take a look at those results for you. We're going to have trouble here? Where sunny goes, trouble follows. Isn't that right? Did I get you going? Ah, I got you, right? I got you going, right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. How you doing? I look different, huh? No. I mean, you, you more of you to go around, but it's, it's not. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm being moved. No, no. <laughs> Moose. Moose Minucci. <laughs> Sonny and I go back a long ways in the old days. Oh. <laughs> and you. You look familiar. You know, people say that all the time. I must have one of those faces. Kate. Kate Howard. It's a pleasure to meet you, Moose. Hi. So we like Disneyland to Spencer. This is the third message I've left for you, Diane. I'd really appreciate it if you could return my phone call. Today, the role of Jasper Jacks is being played by Gideon Emery. What's going on? I'm trying to find Jason, a lawyer. Jason already has a lawyer. Sonny's lawyer, Diane. You know, she's in a circle and is capable of handling any. She's running. not returning my phone call, so I have to find another lawyer who will represent Jason. For what? I can't tell you. I'm gonna get you out of here. I just no, you. she can't be moved. She severely cut her leg when she broke through the window to save her baby. Your baby. She saved your son's life. Please, just take Jake and go, okay? Before then... Do you want to blow people up? Go ahead. Hey, hey, Nicholas, you have to stop. Shut up, Sam. No, you are not thinking clearly. This guy has a bomb strapped to his body. If he lets his finger off the trigger, a whole lot of us are going to die. You want to kill people, tough guy? Go ahead. I don't think you can do it. Come on. How are we going to tell my husband our baby's in trouble? Especially now. I know this will sound impossible, but you need to let someone else worry about Joe. That's it. I have had it. Sam, you saw my wife. Now, you give me good news about her and my kid. Because that's the only reason I got for living in this world. My brother Eddie, my sister Mary, we all hung out in the old neighborhood, you know? Yeah, unbelievable. We hung, but Sonny here, he kind of like drifted in the fringes, you know, the dark and silent type. <laughs> How is everybody, Miss? Hey, Mary, uh, she owns her own uh, boot in the hair joint. Mm. Excuse me, salon over in Jersey City. If I had a camera, I'd take your picture. She loved the way you did your hair. Well, thank you, Miss. My brother Eddie, eh, he's still trying to find himself. Me, I run this place. I tell you the truth, I'm thinking of leaving. It's dying here. I mean, it's it's not like the old days anymore. I'm sorry, Moose. But we still got the old madam. <laughs> Does she want to see her, no? Um, yeah, maybe. She's still taking these. Mm. They should not hold them fun and games. <laughs> you ain't come on business. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just uh, taking out a lovely lady. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Mm. Hey, you were always a gentleman. Just one thing. You know, Luke's come down over here about you, you know. Wild times and all. But uh, you bettered yourself real well. 
Yeah. Uh, you, you were smart. You didn't tie yourself up with these gutter girls. Did you put your order in? Yeah, yeah, I just did. I just did. Oh. Let me put a fire under them, you know. Thank you. Get them going. Then I'll uh, leave you to. Right. Well, it was nice meeting you. But damn, you look so familiar. What was that about? Connie? Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to send Spinelli in there, okay? He's a freak. Who cares if the kid can speak Latin? He'll speak it in geek, and no one's gonna understand him anyway. They, they probably already got him. Didn't Spinelli say that they used this monastery during the French Indian War to yes. smuggle Roman munitions to the French Revolution? Yes. So, what? So, they had to have been traveling upriver. This place sits on top of a bluff. That means that there could be another entrance down by the water that tunnels up inside. It could be another way in. Well, at this point, I'll try anything, so let's go. No, no, no. We got a better chance of splitting up. If you and Spinelli have a chance of getting Lulu out of here before I'm back, don't worry about me. Don't worry, partner, I won't. Brother, someone will be coming by shortly with food for the young troubled one. Good idea. She's not exactly in a Christian mood right now. Well, it's an all too violent world we live in. Amen to that. An innocent girl witnesses a crime that necessitates us putting her under lock and key for her own protection is perhaps an even greater sin. Though she'd be the last to admit it, I'm sure she appreciates the sanctuary you've given her. Well, God always has room for one more. What are you mixed up in this time, Carly? Nothing. Nothing, nothing? Well, nothing as in I'm going to Windermere with a gun to play vigilante with a text message killer. It's not fair. That was different, and Jason's in trouble. Yeah, well, of course he is. I mean, that's what Jason does. He gets in and out of trouble, you know? And up till now, he seems to be quite adept at doing his job. So if, if Jason needs or wants a lawyer, Diane or otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm sure he'll find one. You really don't understand, OK? Then enlighten me. Jason has always been there for me. For me and my boys, he'll be there for anyone I care about. He'll even be there for you if I ask him to, all right? We have a very close, special relationship, but I don't love him the way that I love you, okay? Mm. Listen, this is something I have to do. I promise, I promise I'll be back as soon as I can, and then I will explain everything to you. What are you doing? An intervention. What did the doctor say? Um, they, uh, she, she said that she just doesn't know anything yet. No, you're stalling! What did she tell you? She, she's telling you the truth. I am trying to give you good news, but I can't if I don't do some tests. And I can't do any tests if your wife is in there, a clenched up bundle of fear, freaking out that you're gonna kill yourself and everybody in this hospital. Can you get that through your head? Okay, okay. Just... Run your tests. And the rest of you stay right where you are. I'm gonna need another pair of hands. Where's Monica? Does anybody know what, what you did to yourself from the old neighbor? Stop making it sound so bad. I'm not making it sound bad. You're making it sound bad. Because, you know, I, but I have noticed that, you know, people in your world are very snobby. It's not about snobbery. It isn't? No. Not for everyone. Oh. Well, yeah, there's this creative, elitist attitude, but it's funny. It's a defense mechanism because most of us never fit in anywhere. You used to fit in here uh, perfect. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Yeah. I never fit in here. What? Sonny, I was at odds with everything and everyone. I felt like there was something wrong with me. Until I I swiped an issue of couture. Those pictures, they spoke to me. They stirred my imagination. I still have my first issue that I stole. Why couldn't Connie Falconeri just make good? Oh, God, Sonny. 
What? It's different for you. <laughs> what? Uh... Who you were here is part of the mystique of who you became. It's part of who you became. It's part of your evolution. You evolved? No, I didn't evolve. I jumped species going from Connie to Kate. If anyone found out if I passed as a gutter girl from Bensonhurst, it would shatter my present. I wouldn't have a future. You could have a future with me. Or is that not good enough? If you're, if you're trying to be cute or difficult, but I don't have time for either, you need to let me through the door. The purpose of an intervention is to make the individual aware that they have a problem. I don't have a problem, except you won't let me go help Jason. Do you realize how many times a day you mention that man's name? Hmm? How often you defend or rhapsodize about him? How often you, you bring up how amazingly loving and, and protective he is, how great he is with the boys, and how no woman is ever good enough to be with him, and how often you stick your nose into his life to prove it? A fact which in itself borders on inappropriate behavior for a married woman and is highly insulting to said woman's husband. Okay, it, is this about you being jealous? No, it is about you being obsessive and, and having no boundaries where Jason's concerned. I mean, even Jerry sees it. Jerry? Jerry sees what he wants to see, and it's only because he's trying to cause trouble so no one can figure out what he's really trying to do. I agree. You and Jerry have that in common. When we were at Windermere with Jerry, Jason came down the stairs and you flew into his arms. That's because I was happy to see that he was alive. And Jerry said, it must be hard for me to know that my wife loves another man so much. What the hell is going on here? You know how I feel about Jason. And you have no idea how that affects other people, including Jason. Fine. You want to know what's going on? I'm going to tell you what's going on. That little manipulative witch, Elizabeth Weber, slept with Jason and got herself pregnant and lied to everyone. She lied to her husband. She lied to the baby's father. That's right. Lucky's not the father. Jason is. And now she's talked Lucky and Jason into keeping the lie for some crazy reason and that Jason... you talked yourself into the fact that you have to get involved. Could someone at least get me another ice pack? Pipe down, Garrett. Nobody likes a whiner. This is all your fault to begin with. What? Yep. If you had spent more time working for the public good instead of skateboarding for a photo op, we might have a program in place to help um, the needy people in Port Charles. Why, Edward, I didn't know you cared about the least fortunate. Oh, stop talking. Now. Oh, there you are. I could use your help in cubicle two. Uh, sure. I'll be, I'll be right there. Okay. Sam, I didn't want to do this. I mean, you know me. I'm a good guy. I know. I know, Joe, but, you know, sometimes bad things happen to really good people. 30 years I put it in that business, and it's it's gone. I lost everything, and, and now I'm going to lose my kid. Hey, no, 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 no. You don't know that yet. Oh. You know, when they came to take my garage... They wouldn't even let me keep anything, but I was smart. I knew they were coming. You remember that, that old DeSoto used to be parked out front? The uh, Yes, the, the antique, right? 1941 Series S8 Custom Coupe. Ooh, definitely beautiful. Oh, sweet. Uh, you know, it doesn't run, but the interior and exterior, mint condition, and I... I still let all the neighborhood kids play in it whenever they want because the day my father brought that car home, he did the same for me. Anyway, when they when they came to take my livelihood from me, 
I got up before the sun, and I went down to the lot, and I pushed that DeSoto all the way home. I'd give anything to see my kid behind the wheel of that car. Oh, so you're making this about absolutes. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm making this about you and me and what we could have <laughs> ahead of us. This isn't about what's written in stone on some Bensoner's corner the night you left me hanging. Now, you know what? I, I brought you to this place because it's, it, this is where the two of us can be us. We were having problems in Port Charles and Manhattan, worlds that only work for one of us at a time. So, hey, you know what? This place, this place is just fine. Sonny, just because I deny my past doesn't make my memories of you any less sweet. I understand that, but you know, the, yes, a lot of things in the past weren't good, but when I would, you know, take you on walks, on the beach, on Coney Island, we would pretend that, you know, we were just friends. And we would make out in the back row of the Stillwell movie place. We would just look in each other's eyes and it was like... Remember when we used to say that We said more in five seconds looking at each other than most people did talking for hours. You know why? Because we knew who we were, we knew what we wanted. <clears throat> or maybe I, we were just saying things so we wouldn't scare each other off, you know, because we always held so much inside, you know. You working for Joe Scully? Yeah, and what about you? What, what, what did you keep to yourself? I didn't keep anything to myself. I always said that I wanted more. No, no. You said you wanted better. And that night that we ditched everything to run away together, that uh, I thought you did. But, uh,. Maybe when you said you wanted better, you meant you wanted better than me. Sonny, it was timing. Yeah. It was timing. It's always timing, you know, right? Timing's got to be perfect. Fortunatos presents Cachofla Parmigiana Foot Two. Mm. All right. Talk about timing. Enjoy. Perfect. I'm starving. Perfect. I thought you guys were all praying or something. Oh, the bow of silence thing. Careful. She can be rough. Jason has had a son, and he couldn't be with him. And you just found this out? Yes. And you're upset because he never told you? Okay, that is besides the point. Is it? You know, I mean, it seems to me he didn't tell you because he knew what your reaction would be. It's the right reaction. Is it? Jason needs to fight for custody. Isn't that his choice? He has it in his head that if the truth comes out, that his son will be in danger. Well, I, I tend to agree. 
I mean, look how Sonny's kids have been used against him. Jason will protect him. Do you know how badly Jason wants to be a father? Not really. You know, I, I'm not friends with Jason. I'm not married to Jason. You know, I'm trying to have my own family right here. Which brings me to a very important question. Do you have any idea how badly I want a child with you? Is it safe to move him? Where to? With that bomb anywhere but here. The baby appears hydropic. What does that mean? It means the baby seems to be swollen. But my baby could be born okay, right? Right? If the baby's swollen, it's a sign he's suffering from congestive heart failure. How long have you had these flu-like symptoms? Um, about a week. I do a lot of babysitting to bring in extra cash, and there's always some little boy or girl who's got something. And you never saw a doctor? Oh, I went to the free clinic a few times, and they gave me some antibiotics, but they never seemed to kick in. We don't think it's the flu. Then what is it? We need to run some blood tests to be certain exactly what it is. I thought I told you to stay seated. You're taking a big gamble with other people's lives. Is that what you are, a gambler, Joe? You, you play poker? Oh, I know enough about poker. I know enough not to play. Luck's never been my friend. All right, what about, uh, what about roulette? I mean, you know, I always bet on red. You always have a 50-50 chance of winning, right? I don't really have a lucky number, but, you know, some people play their ages, their their birthdays, their anniversaries. Stay back. Stay back. I'm not kidding. Right. One more step. I let this go. Oh, Jason! Oh, Jason! I'm going to do it! I'm going to let it go! Seven. Not a real bomb. Oh. How did you know? I heard you talking about wanting to pass that car to your boy. And you're just a father who loves his son. You'd have to feel pretty lucky to gamble with a real bomb and not end up hurting. Freeze! Freeze! No, 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 no! Don't shoot! There, there is no bomb. There never was. Cuff him! Cuff him! I want that man arrested. And then you take his wife to the county. All due respect, sir. I mean, does it always have to be about money? I mean, people deserve good medical care. And he can get that at the county. Please, let me see my wife. You're going downtown. Let's, Let's go. Please. I want to see her. I want to tell her that I love her. Please, Sam, go. Tell her that we did it for her and the baby. Please. I will. Jake, look at Mommy. Hi, baby. You look so much better. That was scary, huh? Oh, thank you for bringing him to see me. What's taking so long? What the? You're gonna be sorry you did that. I can carry on more, eh? Hey, I thought you were silent. Good idea. Acting on there, Bob. Not so much as me bringing up the possibility and the desire and, and you coming up with a hundred different reasons not to. If you expended, oh, say, half the amount of energy on you and me that I can only imagine you've spent working yourself up over Jason's baby... How do you know I have it? I don't know. Have you? How do you like your Parmesan? Honestly? Mine's better. Last time we were here, you said it wasn't as good as your mother's. Gee, I wonder if anything is ever good enough for you. Some things, and some things are even better than I expect. Or remember. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's... Wow. Looks like the 
good madam has spoken and someone didn't like what she had to say. Good old Madam Zortino. Oh, you were so serious about what she told us that night. What do you mean? You were. I didn't buy into that. Some machine pops out cards. Come on. Something vaguely written on them. Come on. Honey, there's something so creepy about her. I only went over her to her in the first place because I, I, she needed a makeover. I mean, really. Really? Yeah, and then there yeah. we were. Mm -hmm. Voila, with two coins and a daring smile on your face. what my fortune was that night, too. Mm -hmm. You first. You will lose yourself in someone else. I was all excited because I was certain she was talking about you. No, she wasn't. What do you mean? You did lose yourself in another person. And the person's name is Kate Howard. Excuse me, nurse. My knee is severely swollen. I could use some attention. Be right with you, Mayor Floyd. But... Oh, Jason, that was some very good work you did in there, son. Whether or not you want to admit it, you showed real Quartermain spirit, don't you think so, Monica? During your last episode, we were able to draw some blood so we could see what hormones you were secreting while in rage. So you did that on purpose? It was the only way I could get a true blood test, and we're optimistic that we're gonna be able to find some answers. I don't appreciate being treated like a test animal. Nicholas, when this blood gets back, we're gonna have some answers and help you. Patrick has been working day and night to find a way to help you on this. He cares about you. We all do. Dr. Regan, 2509. Dr. David Regan. Lucky. Hi. Um, I'm a little shaky and, uh, I don't know, mate. Do you want to come home with me? You know, I'm just gonna stay here for a while, make sure everything's okay with Elizabeth and Jake. Okay. Lulu, you okay? Yeah. It's Johnny. It's okay. I'm confused. I don't, I don't understand what's happening. I'll explain it later. Right now, I need you to get, to get you the hell out of here. Uh, I'm so cold, I can barely move. Ow! Great! Ah, I just think it's badly sprained. Ow! No, it's broken! Don't it's worry. broken! I got you. No, I am not helpless! Why are you being stubborn? I need to get you out of here now. Why am I here? What do you have to do with this? I will argue with you all you want once we get out of here. Just come. No! Ah! Damn it! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. And there's nothing that I want to give you more than a child. I have been trying very hard to get pregnant. I have been taking my temperature a million times a day, sneaking over to Dr. Lee's office, taking test after test. That was supposed to be your Christmas present, not that stupid sweater. The news of a child. I was willing to do whatever it takes, and I was so sure that I was pregnant, you know? So sure that I even, um, I even bought this for her baby, but, um, well, there's no baby. I love you, Carly. You shouldn't be doing this alone. You know, this, this will be our baby. And we need to do whatever it takes together. Don't shut me out, Carly. Hmm? I mean, whether, whether we succeed or not, 
this is our journey. We need to take it together. Soldier carrying a box toward a dead end. Unless it isn't one. What are you talking about? This place was used as a smuggler's haven. They couldn't just leave all the stuff hanging out. They had to have been a little more clever. Oh god, there's gotta be something here. Is it, uh, safe for me to unlock the door? No. I don't want you going anywhere. I can't tell you how relieved I feel to have this out in the open. No more lies, no more sneaking around. Well, at least, uh, as far as baby making's concerned. Okay, am I really that bad? Don't answer the question. I don't want to ruin this nice, nice moment that we're having. So, um... Now we both want a child. What are we waiting for? For you to come over here. defend myself when I wasn't the one holding the bomb. She needs special attention. And county doesn't have the She's resources. going to the county? That's have... final. You take that woman out of this hospital and I'll withdraw every dime I put into it. Admit her. Thank you. That was pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. well, obviously, I don't condone what Joe did here today, but his wife and his child deserve to get help. Well, I think Emily would be glad if you had something to help yourself. Like, checking yourself in and waiting for the new results. And if you don't believe me, maybe you should ask her next time you talk to her. Okay, fine. I'll do it your way. I'll okay. I'll go upstairs and admit myself. Thank you. Are up to 98. Well, that's great. Yes, 
to do this puzzle. Good boy. I never thought of it that way. I don't think that I lost Connie and Kate. I just hid her away like an embarrassing relative. Care if we were talking about my high school sweetheart. Or I guess in my case it would be it would be my no-show sweetheart. Go ahead, pop it in. Come on. <laughs> two different people. No. <laughs> okay. Your turn. You go. Uh, oh, wait, wait. What did you say that night? Oh. The first one. Yeah, I know. That you, you will lose everything for love. And I was ready to, except there was nobody really there to give it, give it to you. So wait, did you just bring me back to Bensonhurst to make me feel bad? Anything but. Put the token in. Don't no, I don't want to. Do it. Because you can't mess with the future because it, it's dangerous. What if it says you will go bald tomorrow? Uh, then I'll buy you a hat. Go. Do it. <sighs> Stay tuned for scenes for the next General Hospital. On the next General Hospital, I have to find a different way to handle Patrick. I want a no fuss pregnancy. Did you find something unexpected? You might say that. Let me see it. What's your fortune? Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on Silknet. Are you a mom looking for a little?